Uh, we're now in the research part of the department of ophthalmology. So here we can see patients for scientific research and take all sorts of imaging of their eye. Light enters here at the front of the eye through the clear part of your eye, that's called the cornea, then through the lens and then it focuses on the back of the eye. And the back of the eye is called the retina. And this retina consists of very small cells that transmit light as an electric signal through the optic nerve and then through the brain. We're taking very detailed pictures to see if we can measure progression of diseases of the eye. We can see a very magnified picture of a human retina. All these bright spots are cones. And by using these very detailed images, we can also observe changes in the retina of patients. So my research is focusing on retinal detachment. And that's an eye disease. And if we look inside the eye, uh, we see first here the vitreous. It's a fluid inside the eye. And when we remove it here, you can see the retina. The exact cause for retinal detachment is still unknown, uh, but it is possible that the vitreous fluid plays a major role in it, uh, because the vitreous fluid can cause overwhelming traction force on the retina, which can pull a retinal tear. This is the surgical theater of the Department of Ophthalmology. Um, patients with eye problems will get surgical treatment here. For research purposes, we can collect the vitreous fluid, the eye fluid inside the eye. Normally, the eye fluid is removed and disposed, but now for research, we collect it in these small alicates. Now we're studying the vitreous components to understand more why people develop a retinal detachment.